My name's Jeb. And have you ever seen a plant do this? Me neither. A common hydroponic setup is the floating raft method. Sheets of styrofoam rest on the water. Net cups and rock wool hold up the plants. Growth is rapid. But covering the surface of the water interferes with gas exchange. One time I saw a video of a vertical farm using robot arms to move net cups. This video is sponsored by Mars Hydro. They sent me a light so bright I had to build a deflector shield. It's time to dig through the junk pile again. forget to check for spiders. I'm not even going to glue the connectors together. Welcome to Jeb's Garden, where we only use the highest quality materials. continues for the best way to grow plants on a screen. You see, I've got an idea. My screen isn't floating yet. What can I say? Fitting a lake inside of an office is a challenge. Floating frames could be covered in durable screens or fabrics. I'm trying to cool the basil off so the cuttings don't wilt so quickly. Maybe active aeration won't be necessary since the water isn't covered. Increased evaporation might cool the water in a hot environment and give the plants some relief. Algae might be a problem since the water is exposed to the light. But what if the screen is made out of shade cloth? This screen is fiberglass. It's the same thing people put on their windows. The jug is just a recycled container.
Anytime you bring cuttings from outdoors to indoors, you risk bringing pests with them. I'm gonna see if hydrogen peroxide will help. Ah, 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 no, that's my water. Go drink your water. Oh. I got my water bowl to rinse off the solution and get some of the field heat off of these cuttings. A humidity dome should help these clones, but high temperatures might be a problem. Propagating cuttings directly on a screen could have large cost savings at scale. I've got a fan to circulate air, but there's no exhaust mechanism, so if it gets too hot, this might turn into a tin foil coffin. This deflector shield might look like theater, but this light is no joke. It's got a solid driver, too. Today's agriculture moves giant machines over the plants. But if the plants are on the screen, you can move the plant through a machine. This could allow for a highly automated hydroponic setup without wasteful materials like rock wool. Did I mention this light is full spectrum? It's getting really hot in here. But basil's tough, right? Ratcheting hangers make it easy to raise the light. Growing on a screen makes watering simpler. my file. It's working. Master Yoda is going to hold on to this for me. In a dry climate, a waterproof layer could cover a low spot. As long as there's enough seasonal rain, 
Large-scale agriculture could be achieved without electricity. The more shallow the water is, the faster the crop has to mature. So the screen barges near the edges would be harvested first, while the other crops matured in the center. More sophisticated arrangements would be possible with a larger investment of infrastructure. In aquaculture, people cover the fish with a screen to keep the birds from eating them. So why can't we put plants on top too? Well, three out of four clones took on the screen. This one had a curved stem. They're ready for nutrients. Machine sun, smile upon my experimental plants. I think some kind of mite survived the peroxide bath. This is so cool. Looks like the traditional setup might have the advantage in this situation. The heat's stressing the plants out. I should have put in an exhaust fan. Oops. Looks like we got some algae too. I suspect having a 90 degree bend in the stem is not ideal for plant growth. Clearly this light is capable of producing flowers. The thing is, I'm not really thinking about flowers right now. I'm thinking more about terraforming. The foil was fun, but I think using a tent might work better. This thing stays cool enough to rest my phone on it. Awesome.
traditional plants look twice as big. But I'm not worried. I'm on a mission now. Click the link in the description for details on this light.